Hello, this is Lucia from the Nevada Division of Minerals, and welcome to this overview and demonstration of the oil, gas, and geothermal page located within our open data site. For this presentation, we will show you how to navigate to the open data site and then to the oil, gas, and geothermal page. We will give a general overview on the oil, gas, and geothermal page contents, demonstrate how to use the interactive web mapping application, as well as the data download process. We will conclude with some final remarks. So let's dive in. The easiest way to access the open data site is to visit the Division of Minerals main web page at www.minerals.nv.gov. Once you are here, scroll down towards the bottom of the page. You will see a section titled Important Links, Nevada Division of Minerals. Under this section, click on the Open Data Site-GIS Files in DOM to be redirected to the Open Data Site. This is the home page of our Open Data Site. The URL is listed at the top of the screen. Open Data Sites, or Hub Sites, are websites that are hosted by ESRI in which you can host maps for the public to access and utilize and as a data download location. The home page is equipped with our mission statement and a disclaimer. If you scroll down, you will see a list of the pages available on our open data site, as well as a data gallery. We will go ahead and navigate to the oil, gas, and geothermal page by clicking the square that appears when you hover over the image. Here we are at the beginning of the oil, gas, and geothermal page. We can see a brief summary of geothermal energy production for Nevada in 2019, followed by some general information on geothermal leases and a geothermal production chart showing annual megawatt hour production with average price in cents per kilowatt hours. If we scroll down, we come to a similar summary of oil production in Nevada for 2019 and lease information accompanied by a production chart showing oil production over time. Scrolling down, we come to a ribbon of icons. The first icon has a link underneath which will allow the user to view the application by itself. The user may find it easier to use the map by navigating to the application, especially when using a mobile device. The next icon is a link to this video, and the final two icons are links to the homepage of the NDOM Open Data Site and to NDOM's main web page, respectively. Below the ribbon of icons is the interactive map, and below that, is the data download section. We will return to this section, but for now we will scroll back up to view the interactive map. And this is where we will begin our demonstration. This map contains data on oil, gas, and geothermal wells in the state of Nevada. It displays production and injection data as well as electrical generation from geothermal plants. We will review the basic functionality of the application starting with the search bar. If we click on the arrow on the left-hand side of the search bar, a drop-down menu will appear, displaying all of the available search options. You can use the Esri World Geocoder to search by address. You can search geothermal plants by their name. For all oil, gas, and geothermal data, the user can search leases by serial number or by customer name and search wells by well name, permit number, or API number. In the bottom right hand corner, the icon outlined by the red box is the layers list. If we click on this icon, a menu will appear where you can select the layers which will be visible or not. For this demonstration, we will turn off all layers pertaining to oil. Next, we will turn our attention to the legend. 
this isn't just any legend. It's an interactive legend. If we look, we can see the layer name displayed along with the feature count, followed by a button which allows you to zoom to that particular layer. Under the Zoom To button, we can see another button displaying the symbology. The user can click on these buttons to turn the features on and off. So if we click on this button, the light bulb or the symbol for the geothermal plants, we can see that the geothermal plants are turned off. If we click on the button again, we can see that the geothermal plants are toggled back on. We will now zoom to a geothermal field to take a closer look at the data. We can zoom in or out either by using the roller on your mouse or the plus and minus signs in the upper left hand corner of the map. We can increase our viewing room by clicking on the icon with the right double angle quotation mark in the lower right hand corner. This will collapse the layer list. Notice to the left of the layer list icon is an icon which allows the user to toggle between the current base map and the USA topo map. If we click on this icon, the base map will change. We will click it again and return to the default base map. Now we will click on a section. When we do, a pop-up will appear giving information on how many leases, geothermal or oil and gas, are present in each section. Note, the actual boundary of the lease is not depicted on this map. Leases are displayed as leases per section. Actual lease boundaries may be obtained from the BLM or from the master title plats. And that brings us to the link in this pop-up which will take the user to the BLM's land records page. So if we click on this link, we are redirected to the BLM's land records search page and you can see the township and range you were looking at has already been populated and the land records including master title plats and historical indices are displayed. Back to our map. We will use the X in the upper right hand corner of the pop-up to close the window so we can look at some more data. If we click on an X in the center of a section, a pop-up will appear. We will use the Maximize button in the upper right hand corner of the pop-up to view all of the text. We can see this pop-up is giving us some basic information on the lease such as the total case acres, the customer name, and serial number. There is also a link available in this pop-up which will take us to the BLM's LR2000 serial register page. We first need to copy the serial number, then we can click on the click here which will take us to the serial register page. Here we must set the geostate to Nevada, then we will paste the serial number you copied into the serial number box and then we will press apply. This will bring up the serial register page report. Back to the map. At this time I would like to point out that when you click on a point on a map and there is more than one feature, all features will be selected. Since leases are plotted per section, all lease point listings plot in the center of the section. We can use the arrow in the upper right hand corner of the pop-up to navigate through all selected records. So if we click on the icon, it will display the next record out of five records that are selected. In this case, it is another lease point. Now we will click on a geothermal plant. Another pop-up will appear displaying the name of the geothermal plant, historic production in megawatt hours, and a graph of production through time. Next, we will click on a well. Again, a pop-up will appear showing general information on the well along with production or injection data depending on the well type. The data is followed by a graph 
which shows injection or production data through time. The pop-ups are configured the same for oil and gas wells. If we toggle to the next selected feature using the arrow in the upper right hand corner, we are taken to the general description of a geothermal well. This layer exists to show oil, gas, and geothermal wells that do not have injection or production data associated with them. We will return back to the main oil, gas, and geothermal page and scroll down below the map. To the data download section, there are two types of data presented in this section data presented in Excel tables, and GIS data. We will start with the Excel files. To download the Excel files, which contain well and production data for oil, gas, or geothermal, select the Click Here text to be redirected to the data download page. Here we are on the data download page, and to download the data, you guessed it, simply click on the download button and the file download will start. Back to our download data section. Now we will demo the GIS data download process. First, click on the download the data button underneath the data you wish to download. You will be redirected to this page. Notice in the top left hand side of the screen, the title is geothermal production and well data. From here, Click on the Layers button outlined in red in the middle right-hand side of the page. A drop-down list will appear, and this is where you must select the data layer you want to download. So we will select the Geothermal Well Locations layer. The page will refresh. Notice now that the title in the upper left-hand side of the screen has changed to Geothermal Well Locations. From this point, Click on the download button located in the middle right hand side of the screen. A drop down menu will appear and once you select the format you would like to download the data in, the download will automatically begin. Back to our data download section. Finally, at the bottom of the page you can find links to other pages with, you guessed it, more data. There is also a link to the home page of the Open Data Site. All maps on the Open Data Site are interactive and have user-friendly pop-ups with pertinent links to outside information as demonstrated here. All data is free to download anytime. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please contact Lucia Patterson at the following email address. I will be happy to answer any questions and try to implement suggestions if possible. We host a lot of data, all of which have custom configurations to enhance user experience, so it is incredibly easy to accidentally overlook something. With that said, if something is not working as expected, please let me know so I can fix it as soon as possible. I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. We hope this website and the data within it is advantageous to your exploration efforts here in Nevada.